Guess who's back? Back again. Three Z's back. Hi, Joe, man. <laughs> Stand your way. Stand your way to the G spot. <laughs> I've been thinking about quitting YouTube. I feel like if I can get up to go and have brunch and get drunk, I can get up and give God praise. Look at that ass. Even that church is pouncing. Happy All her friends gave her um, birthday gifts. Ow, Ma, it's sore right there, bro. What is this? <laughs> With me when I wasn't this fly. Now I'm on top and now I'm riding sky high. So, hey, y'all, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Saturday evening. It's around, I don't know, five o'clock, six o'clock. I haven't been on this camera in weeks, y'all, so I'm a little nervous. But right now, I'm dressed. Looking for some shoes to put on, actually, because me and Jita are going to Red Lobster, I think, or some restaurant. We're going to go out to eat. Um, yesterday, yesterday was my YouTube birthday, so I want to go and celebrate. I've been a little down today. I've been a little down for the next, for the last couple of weeks, couple of days. That's why I really haven't been on camera, but I'm all right. I'm getting back to me now. Um... So, yeah, right now, I'm just waiting on Gita to come get me so we can go ahead and go to the Red Lobster or wherever we're going. Yeah, so I haven't really been feeling like vlogging at all. I haven't really been feeling like doing anything, honestly. It's been about a week since I've been on camera, so excuse me if I'm a little awkward. But guess who's back? Back again. Three Z's back. Hi, Joe, man. <laughs> guess who's back 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 hey yeah <laughs> um i haven't even had any celsius any alcohol and i really ain't even had none to drink i took a benadryl earlier y'all i hate the fall Love the fashion of the fall, but the season Fs me up. Like, my allergies are not normal. Like, most people have, like, sniffle, sniffle allergies or clogged up whatever allergies. My allergies are highs. I break out in highs. My nose be fine. My eyes be fine. My body breaks out in highs from my allergies. So, I've been having to pop bennies like candy. But... I took my earlier at around 11. I woke up at about 3, got in the shower, and now I'm about to wait on Gita to come pick me up. Y'all, let me know if y'all got that stuff that I was telling y'all about, too. The Dr. Braun is with the native, the Johnson & Johnson and stuff. Because I really want to know if I like influence. I really want to know if I influence. Because I feel like I do, but nobody ever sends me anything because I'm a small influencer. But... Let me know if y'all y'all got the stuff. Oh, and let me show y'all. I had got a new fragrance yesterday. Well, it's not really new. It's just one of my faves that I ran out of. It's the Jimmy Choo Urban Hero. It's the man's. This is the gold. The shit. It's the man one. This is the gold. Um, it's not new for me, but it's one of my faves. I love. If y'all don't know, it's alcohol based for sure. But if y'all do not know, I love a good men's fragrance. I have no more of my Ariana Grande anything. Like, I'm literally at the wit thin corner. I get all of my fragrances from... I found the Urban the Urban Hero at um, TJ Maxx yesterday because I was one looking for a purse. Norm, I, I only really see that at like Ross or any or stuff like that, but they haven't had nothing in a while. So I ended up seeing it at TJ Maxx yesterday for $40. <gasps> oh, I was so excited. But yeah, 
I don't know where me and Gita are going out to eat. It's my turn to treat because last week they treated me, her and her sister, um, when we had went out the two times. So now it's my turn to treat them. Um, my kid's birthday is Tuesday and Wednesday. Simba's birthday is Wednesday. L'Oreal's is two. Uh, no, Simba's birthday is Tuesday. He'll be eight. L'Oreal's birthday is Wednesday. She'll be 13. So we're going to have like little dinners at home because both of them are going out of town the weekend after with their dads. They'll be going, L'Oreal will be going to Texas with her dad and Simba will be going to Wisconsin Dells with his dad. This is the first birthday that they'll be spending separately. Like today, Simba somewhere else, L'Oreal somewhere else. We're normally together during the, the, the um, during their birthdays, but not this time, which is fine. Um, this year has been a rough year for everyone. So I understand you know, they want to do their own things. And they're also getting older, so which means they're not going to always want to do things together. L'Oreal is going to her first little juke party. I was very skeptical of letting her go. Not going to hold you. I was very, very skeptical of letting her go because, baby, I know what they do at them parties. I know how they be dancing on the boys. But these kids is TikTokers. Like, that's what they do at parties, I feel. But L'Oreal deserves to go out. She has good grades. She isn't the best student as far as her mouth. But her grades are always well. And I'm so proud of her. So I let, I'm, I'm going to let her go to the party. Simba is always at his dad's on the weekend. So I don't even know what the hell he's doing. He don't even come until Sunday. What time you come to pick me up? Baby, I'll see you Tuesday. So, <laughs> yeah. I smell good. I smell good. Even though, I don't understand why I only put perfume and stuff on this side. I never put it on this side. Let me fix that. So, yeah, it's about 80 degrees today. So, I have on some little Bermuda shorts and a little t-shirt. I want to put on some gym shoes, but I literally don't have any black shoes. And I, it really is kind of cringy to me when I wear white shoes with all black. Even though I have on white in here, it's still a little cringy to me. I have to see if I like that. But yeah, let me go ahead and finish getting dressed and I'll check back in with y'all once I get in the car with Jita and we head on to wherever we're going. And yeah. And let me apologize early if this is low vibrational, it's not intentional. I'm on the period. I'm about to get off. So y'all know how that shit go. But yeah. I'll see y'all a little later. Peace out. Patience ain't no virtue with you. I don't waste plenty of time. Pacing around, hate this cool. You with bitches on the side and let my mind wander too. You relentless nigga. I don't need brand nigga. Tell me like I'm waiting for you to come lie to me. Oh my day saying you hurt me, I can't compete. Still on the way, I lay away, give you not all around me. I'm so on you, still go for you. You need to talk to me in your love language. Show me, yeah, how to connect to you. All right, y'all. So me and Gita are at the Millie, the mall. I'm vlogging today, if you can see. I have on no clothes. It's cold as hell out. I thought you wasn't vlogging today. I'm gonna take. I'm, I need. To, I, I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I need to take a break, but I also need to make my goals. So I'm just gonna vlog a little. I'm just gonna vlog a little. But she looks cute. Bitch bought some shoes and didn't get and didn't even get me to sell. And she got two new purses, but it's okay. It's okay. Why are you telling my business? Because you know what? I got me a fragrance, ho. <laughs> I got me a fragrance. And see, now she wants to rub it in, and I don't like shit like that. You, you're talking about what Bitch I did. Bitch is like you make my ass week. itch. <laughs> you talking about what something that happened last week? That's a pet. Bitch is like you make my ass itch. Okay. It's pet. But we're at Marshalls at Yorktown. My screen is a little la la la. But we're about to see what they have up in Marshalls. Hopefully they don't have nothing. <laughs> no Hopefully one. they don't have nothing up in Marshalls. Cause baby now. And I should have put jeans on because it's cold as a bitch in here. We ain't spending money. Get a fucking buddy. Get your ass in the buddy. You want me to push you? No. 
Alright, I'll be back, yeah. So I came to Champs to see if they had some shoes for Simba, but they don't. Simba these shoes really, really bad. And me being his mother, I need to buy them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I hate being a mom. I love this whole strand. It's a glow in the dark strand. Oh, that's really kinky. This one here I call um, this one Shireen. Who? Shireen. Which okay. Is glow or illuminate. Okay. So it encourages you to make sure that whatever you do in life not only illuminate your life, but also the lives of those around you. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'll take that one. Half finder. Find your way to this. Oh, Shireen. Okay. Oh, Shireen. 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 Probably go to Spencer so I can get some piercings. Yeah, so I can get some piercings, and then we're gonna go to a bar because a bitch gets to get drunk. Do you hear me? A bitch gets to get drunk. Okay. She done told her people that she went to Walmart. I hate that Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody asked this um this girl named Becky on my Facebook. She was like, "Do seatbelts go?" Over your titties or in between? That's what made me think about it. <laughs> I'm like a seatbelt. I'm like behind them. I remind you of a seatbelt. You do, girl. You, you, you're strapped up. Always strapped when you're in the club. Mm -hmm. Bitches give me that. Bitches give me love. You can't sit with us. Folks and hoes, help me. I'm poor. We're here to fuck it up. What a period. This <laughs> 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 if you're not first, you're last. Bitch. Not 
You being dramatic. No, seriously. I hate the taste of alcohol. Because I like to be drunk. <laughs> you talking about me being dramatic. Ooh, take, a sip. Go. take a little sip. Oh my <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. Tastes like bacon fat. Like what? Bacon fat. Bacon fat. <laughs> you eat bacon fat? You know when you eat the bacon. The little fatty part. You don't eat bacon fat. <laughs> this is a little bitter, more like hard food. Yeah, something. Hey y'all, hey. I just made it back home from being out with Jita today. I need some water. I don't have anything to drink in my house and all the stores by me are closed. Anyway, I wanted to get on here and chit chat with y'all. This bra, I feel like I'm suffocating. So I wanted to get on here and chit chat with y'all. I've been drinking a little, y'all saw that at the Miller Owl House. I feel like my nose is about to bleed, but whatever. But I wanted to get out here and talk to you all because I've been thinking about quitting YouTube. Um, I want to take a few months off to get my mental together. I haven't really been motivated to continue YouTube. Um, I've grown such a, a a nice following, you know what I'm saying? It's it's 1,100 of y'all here, 1,165 to be exact, and I'm very appreciative. I'm very, very much so appreciative because seeing myself grow for the past two years has been amazing. Um, I started YouTube, you all know I started YouTube as on my weight loss journey and um trying to figure out how to lose weight and telling people how i've lost the weight and this that and the third and then as of recently it just became like me vlogging i'm really overwhelmed and overstimulated life has been low-key kicking my ass behind the scenes and i really don't I really don't know how to function right now. Um, this breakup that I've been going through has been one of the roughest patches of my life. Like, as of now. Like, I know I'm going to go through things in the future and things. But as of right now, it's been real, real rough these last couple of months. And... I'm so thankful to God that I've changed and matured so much because I promise you, y'all, me a few years ago would have shit splattered all over the internet. Like, I would be telling everything, you know what I'm saying, and dogging a person down and shit like that. And I'm just so happy for my growth because don't nobody know shit, you know? But it's so much that sticks with me through this breakup and it's so much that has transpired during this time and I don't know how to handle it. I started off YouTube, I started off YouTube because that support system was there to um, push me, you know what I'm saying? And even though that support system, God damn, I smell so good. Even though that support system is not around anymore and I have all of you all supporting me I feel so alone and I feel so, I kind of feel like a failure to me. I feel like I failed myself and I feel like I failed 
in so many ways because I feel like I failed because my relationship didn't work and I also feel like I failed because I've lost so much within this time. Like I lost myself my self respect. I lost my dignity. I lost material things. I lost so much within this time. I know that God is not going to put more on me than I can bear, but I feel like I can't take anymore. A lot of people don't know that I deal with a lot of things for real, like depression for real. And um, I don't want to medicate to feel better. Like, it's been so much that I've dealt with throughout these nine months that people don't know behind the scenes. Like, I was becoming an alcoholic. I was waking up to fucking bottles and bottles of Tito's every day. And if it's not Tito's, it's a bottle of wine. Every day I was drinking more than I was eating. Um, I tried to check myself into a crazy home. Not a crazy home, but I tried to check myself into a psych ward. Um, but because I didn't try to self-harm, they would admit me and um they gave me xanax and i was taking xanax with alcohol every day every couple of hours because i just couldn't take what i was going through and the whole time i was filming the whole time i was on youtube and i don't even look at my old videos from a few months ago because it's a real life trigger for me um I know God has a plan for me. And I know YouTube is one, but I just feel so discouraged on it every single day. I really want to continue to find myself and love on myself and be better for not only me, but for my children. And I feel like I failed my children because they seen me go through another failed relationship they saw me go through a failed marriage and then now they see me going through a failed relationship and i should really be over i should really be over this and i'm not i should really really be over this and i'm not and that's what pisses me off the most because i should really be over this but i'm not that person is living. That person has moved on and living their life. And I'm just still sitting here crying. And I feel like that's so unfair. That's so unfair. But that's just what's in the cards. And that's how God has things going. So in all in all, I've been wanting to do like vlogs, Hobart. But I can't see myself even doing YouTube at all right now because it's just not there for me right now. Um, everybody that I've talked to told me not to stop doing YouTube and just take a few days off or take a week or two off and then come back because I want to take a few months. I want to take a few months. <sighs> I'm so tense. My body is so tense. My body is so tense. But, um, people don't know, like, um, I'm just being me. You know what I'm saying? I'm being authentically myself. Y'all see the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that. And, um, this is a sucky situation to be in. And no, I don't wish no bad on nobody. You know, I... I tell people all the time, I wish him nothing but, I wish that person nothing but happiness, nothing but peace, nothing but, you know, prosperity, you know. But I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of hoping. I even still sometimes be hoping for a change. I'm tired of hoping. I'm tired of wishing. I'm tired of praying. <laughs> I'm just tired of it all. I said all this to say... I might be taking a little break. I don't know for how long. I don't know 
if I'm even gonna take the break, but I don't know for how long and um but I do know all in all I just need to get my mind right because I can't be a bad influencer and right now. I feel like I'm just bad at everything. And I miss me real bad. I just really wanna find myself through all of this turmoil. And it's so hard for me because normally I'm the strong friend. Normally I'm the the strong one that's giving everybody advice and telling people to stand up and, and giving encouragement to and always having all the right things to say. Well, I feel like I'm kind of going through what I'm going through alone. Although I have people around me, don't get me wrong, and I'm so thankful for everybody that's around me and every prayer that people have prayed for me and, you know, my friends coming back around and because I cut a lot of people off. I cut a lot of people off and you know, the ones that are supposed to be back around are back around and the way that they've embraced me and um, comforted me and helped me and helps me go outside I'm very appreciative and um, but I, all in all I still feel alone when I come home I feel alone when I'm not around them anymore, I feel alone. Like I was just so happy being outside with Jita right now. But as soon as I turned that door to come in the house, I just felt alone. And although it's okay to be alone, although it's okay to be alone, it does not feel good to be alone. It does not feel good to be lonely. But anyway, I can't be on here sad no more. I can't be on here not myself anymore. So I think until I become my better self or be until I just become a better me, I'm just going to take a little break for a while. And hopefully it's just a few days. Hopefully it's just a few weeks, but I don't know when I'm coming back. I hope y'all continue to pray for me. I hope y'all continue to tell people about me so they can come on and follow with me too. I thank y'all for all y'all kind words and um, always checking on me when y'all do. I appreciate every last one of y'all for being here every single day. I could be seeing all of this today and be right back on camera tomorrow. I don't know. But as of right now, I'm just, I'm just, I don't even know how to feel. But I'm going to go ahead and get off this camera and get naked and go to bed. So... I shall see y'all when I see y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming back and watching my vlog. Thank y'all for loving me the same way I love every last one of y'all. I lift every last one of y'all up in prayer and I hope y'all do the same for me. Until next time, peace and love always. Good night. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning, October 1st, and I am getting ready for church. <sighs> um, It is my ex-family, my ex-in-laws. <laughs> They're having their church anniversary. And if you don't know, Jita is my ex-husband's cousin, and she's one of my closest friends and her sister as well. And they invited me to church. This morning, because it is the church's anniversary, so guess where we're going? To church! Hallelujah! So, y'all, I don't know if I want to, uh, I, mean, I mean, of course, I'm going to have to glue down my wig right here, but I'm definitely probably not going to do the sides because who gives a damn? But, yeah, we're about to get ready and go to church. I literally just rolled out of bed. Um, I took a shower last night, so I'm not a dirty bitch. Talk about your mother. Don't talk about me. Um, yeah, so I was going to get up and go to brunch with Anissa this morning, and I said when April called me and was like, because I had a real bad meltdown yesterday. Um, I'm just still trying. I told y'all yesterday, I'm just still trying to figure some things out. Um... Yeah, so yesterday, April prayed for me, and she told me to get on my Zoom today <laughs> and um, get to church, and I'm going to do that because I feel like if I can get up 
to go and have brunch and get drunk, I can get up and give God praise. I can give get get up and be with the Lord. And um, I've been telling y'all for a little while that I wanted to go to church. So I'll be going to church this morning. So church starts at 11. It's about 10, 15. I have to get dressed and I have to call an Uber so I can get to church. As you all know, I still don't have my car yet. Um, but it's coming soon. Hallelujah, it's coming. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready for church. And then I'm going to see y'all once I get dressed in a snap. Okay? See ya, see ya. Because my Uber pulling up. This is what I got on. This dress is from, I believe, Fashion Nova. I had on some heels, but I took them off. So I just put my little pumas on because church is going to be all day. My wig is not sitting correctly today. A mess. I need to clean this mirror, but let's hurry up because it is time to go. Look at that ass. Even at church is pouncing. I got this diaper on. Oh, I got this diaper on, child. But whatever. Let's go. Uh, there's something wrong with your out. Nothing about the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, temperance. There's nothing about the, the fruit of the spirit. And can I encourage you today on this day, this first month, this first day of October, that for you to return back to the Lord. You to return back, go back, go back. Amen. The spirit of unforgiveness. The spirit of unforgiveness. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I forgive, but I ain't gonna never forget it. I'm, and I'm going every time I say it, I'm gonna get angry about it. Something is wrong, Amen. With what you professing, if you believe God, Amen. And if you have recognized your sinful ways, then at a certain point you say, you know what? I'm gonna let all this go, the world, and I'm really gonna follow Jesus. I'm gonna follow God. I'm gonna follow Him. Am I talking to anybody on today? Alright you guys, we are just got out of church. We're going to go back to church, but we're going to take a shot. This is called the I'm Outside Pack. <laughs> I've never a, seen I'm on intermission. I've never seen anything like this before. Like they don't sell this by my house. And they definitely should, like the little party packs. We don't have none of them. We don't have them. You're fine. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look at my damn wig. Yeah, I need to take a shot. <laughs> So we're at Olive Garden. Today is Simba's birthday. We don't know what this thing is on his forehead. It magically appears this morning. He's going through puberty. And then homegirl birthday is tomorrow. Ask me how my pocket's doing. I love that Simba thinks that Olive Garden is a five-star restaurant. And I'm eight years old. Eight years old. He said he want another sweater that say Simba 8, but he want a baby picture of him on the front this time. Yeah. Oh, different. But yeah, we're at the Olive Garden. We're at the Olive Garden now. And we're about to try to move our seats because we're sitting right next to the kitchen and right next to the bathroom. I do not like sitting right next to the bathroom or the kitchen. Simba said he can't stand sitting next to the kitchen. Because honestly, it's kind of being like an inconvenience to you because the people with the plates and stuff can, can fall right on top of you. But anyway, I don't want to stay on this phone too long because I do want to go ahead and enjoy my children and their birthdays. I'm gonna let them know that it's both their birthdays so they can get like some ice cream or something. And it's endless pasta at the Olive Garden. Got it. Endless pasta. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. And what are your names? L'Oreal and Brian. Lori. L'Oreal and Brian. And Brian. For me? Happy birthday to you. For me? Happy birthday, dear one. L'Oreal and Brian. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You can blow it twice. Double wish. Go ahead. Three. Thank you. 
now. <laughs> y'all day two of the birthdays homegirl just turned 13 today her cash app is no i'm just playing boy you finna get that shirt dirty i'm already knowing put that on. beat up too put that on mm -hmm. all her friends gave her um birthday wish oh ma it's sore right there bro what is it to you two ma stop all right let me get the no, leg in. my legs is sore today was kicking me in my leg and stuff. you don't let people kick on you and your eyes swollen. Mm. Somebody hit you in your face. No. Ouch. But chill out. Three. I got ten no, more to go. No. No. Stop. My arm hurts. <laughs> oh, man. You want to get some his birthday licks? How you know what I did? Ouch. You the one hitting me in my face. <laughs> Stop. You let all your friends hit on you. Why I can't? I was screaming, hollering, and yelling for I want to whoop your ass too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Shut up. You want to fight? Anyhow, we're about to go to Cajun Broil you because homegirl wants seafood. We're about to eat Cajun Broil you because homegirl likes seafood. Mind you, we didn't eat really none of the pasta from yesterday. So we got hella lefties. So yeah, birthdays are almost complete. I got one more. Shout out to my niece Sapphire. She just had her baby today. She just had her baby today. So we got two October 4th people. And my mama's birthday is on Friday. Lord Jesus. Oh, boy. Come on. I done slapped you in the door. Hi, how are you? Don't get one of them. Huh? Happy birthday to the birthday. Uh, but that was yesterday. You got you to see it. Yeah, with your ashes. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like what? It tastes like lemon, but uh, with cream. It's like lemon. Mm. You cheese I thought they was going to have alcohol. Now, we, we all look ashy in the face. They thought they was going to have alcohol. This is why. I don't eat seafood often. Well, seafood braids because I am breaking out in hives. So, hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's later on in the day. We are back home. <laughs> my allergies are allergying, okay? I just found a hive on my leg. I'm trying not to take no Benadryl because <sighs> I'm not ready to go to bed yet. My hands still like... My hands still smell like the damn seafood. I'm itching like crazy from head to toe, and I don't know if it's from the seafood broil or if it's my allergies, period. My allergies are so dumb. Most people's allergies are freaking like sniffles and shit. Man is sniffles, hives. Man is sniffles, hives, all kinds of stupid ass shit that is just so stupid. <laughs> But I'm trying my hardest not to take no Benny because 
I'm not ready to go to bed. It's only 8 o'clock. But I'm probably finna go and get in a shower so I can stop itching a little bit. I was off today. Oh, God. <laughs> I do have to get up and go to work tomorrow. Today has been a good day. A little off, though, because my attitude today has been so bad. I've, I've been so angry today. And, um... It kind of took a toll on my day today. I really slept all day. That stupid ass alarm went off. That alert that everybody was talking about. Turn your phone off. Turn your phone off, baby. Because when we turned our phones back on, it was still alerting. But I did go ahead and listen to some high frequency music for about an hour or so. Just to get my um, vibrations back to normal and my energy up. And just get myself back together because... My vibrations have been so off whack, and I wouldn't say that they were low, but they weren't high. They were like evil today. I was on evil vibes today, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm definitely about to go and take a shower and then probably pop me a Benny because this hive is getting bigger and bigger on my leg. It's just one, but one is enough for me. One is enough for me. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and pop me a Benadryl. Like, it's no if, ands, or buts about it. And then I'm going to go to bed. So, tomorrow I have to work. So, I'll probably vlog tomorrow sometime. So, tomorrow is Thursday. I'll just vlog tomorrow sometime. But thank y'all. I already know. Thank y'all so much for telling my kids happy birthday. Um, I can't believe that my kids are getting so much older. Like, Simba, I remember when he was first born, he had heart problems and he had hypothyroidism like his mama. But he had heart problems and his heart was over swelling. It was it was it was swelling to the point where it was about to break his rib cage. And um they told us he wouldn't make it past eight weeks, a month or two. And look at him today, eight years old, like it's been such a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful um, experience to watch him grow. L'Oreal has been riding with me since I was 18 years old. She just turned 13 today. L'Oreal has loved me through it all. She has seen me through everything. This girl has really <laughs> grew up with me and she loved me through it all. It was not a moment where my child has never loved me. And I go so hard for her because one, she's a girl, my first girl, and two, nobody advocated for me when I was growing up and was honest with me about things like boys and heartbreak and sex and money and you know what I'm saying? And with my children, I'm real open with their ass, like real, real open. I don't hold back anything of course i tell them what they need to know i don't tell them everything but as far as how life goes and how things are i definitely keep them in the loop about everything like everything l'oreal is growing up to be such a beautiful young lady um she's so smart she gives me some of the best advice for her to be so young so that makes me feel like I'm doing something well because my daughter is so smart when it comes to life. Um, I'm so thankful to be their mom. I'm so thankful to have had them, even though I never wanted kids. Like I never, I don't, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I don't like kids. Can't stand them. Can't damn stand them. I never wanted kids. Um, but these two kids have saved my life right now if i wouldn't have had if i wouldn't have had the few miscarriages that i did have um i would be a mom of four <laughs> right now because i did have a miscarriage i had two miscarriages this year so I, I really would have been a mom of five um i had one in january and then i had one back in june but i'm thankful for the two that I currently have and I love them so much and I'm just so thankful to God for choosing me to be their mama and I'm hoping and praying that I'm doing I know right now I'm doing the best that I can be I'm doing the best that I can 
with the small knowledge that I have of being a parent, but I hope that I'm teaching them how to be great people at the end of the day. Like, don't hurt people. I want to teach, even though I'm not a man, I want to teach my son what it's like to treat a woman. And I hope that they are taking my experiences and putting them towards what they want out of life. I tell my daughter all the time to look at me as everything that you don't want to be. Don't look up to me. Look at me as the example of everything not to be. And not that I'm a that not that I'm not a good influence on my kid or anything like that, but be your own person. Be who you want to be. Don't be me. You can you can do some things like me. You can, you know, be like me in certain ways, but as far as looking up to me, look at me as the total opposite of what you want to be. Especially when it comes to people in your life, like relationships and things. Don't ever chase anybody to be with you. If somebody wants to leave, let them leave. Like, I tell them that shit all the time. Like, never chase, never beg, never plead. Because I've literally got on my hands and knees and begged the person to stay with me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want that for them because that's not what life is. Um... My kids have seen me through so much from with in my marriage, within my life after marriage, within um, my life after my last relationship. Like, cause me and my last relationship, we didn't display any bad things in front of, like any problems in front of my children. That was one thing that I kept saying that I would never do again, display any bad situation or relationship and let my kids know that we're having problems. So they didn't see that, they just saw you know, the surface of the happiness and things like that. But we had problems, of course. But um, they saw me through this breakup the hardest, the longest, and they have still loved me and I am forever thankful for them. I feel like my throat is closing and my eyes are swelling a little. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna go and take this Benadryl, get in the shower and then go to bed. I thank y'all so much for tuning in like always. If I don't pick up this camera tomorrow, I will definitely pick it up in a few days. Um, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see y'all on the next one. Peace and love always, baby. Bye.